finally, this is the last video of this entire batch, as well as the last video of my um, Resident Evil called Veronica X playthrough. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't have made it through here without using sheep, because for the fact that Wesker is only equipped with a fucking knife. Like, really, are you serious? A knife? A fucking knife? It's gonna take forever to get through. Holy shit, fuck. Um, but I am excited to be getting through with this. You know, I've been meaning to all day, like the last 12 or 14 videos I did throughout the day of post-commentary I've been meaning to do. Um, uh, you know, I've had a really fucky, funky, fucky, a funky, funky, fucked up day. Um, I don't know, it pretty much began from the moment I woke up and I was all kinds of depressed. I really didn't understand what it was about. I still don't really understand what it's about. Maybe it's kind of a reflection of myself. Cause they've also said, um, people who appear in your dreams or things, you know, like things that are supposed to have souls or spirits or whatever, are really just reflections of yourself, like ways that you view aspects of yourself or your own personality. And obviously, I cannot shank that explosive canister thing. But, let me see, I'm gonna try to recall my dream. I don't remember a whole lot of it. I think I was, like, down by a stream at some point. I don't remember anything about that. I was, like, somewhere outside in the wilderness or something. And then, you know, mostly what I remember after that is I was indoors. Um, you know, here where I'm living. And I had most of my cats here with us, or with me. Um... And, you know, when I'm with on my, uh, you know, the person I'm living with, our, 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 the, the one cat, he's an orange cat, we call him Mitten, and he was on, you know, their bed, getting hair everywhere. And I patted him a little bit, and we took care of that. And then I came back out of there, you know, I was, I don't remember if it, which happened before or after, but you know, in the living room I petted him a little bit. No, there was like another cat in the living room. I can't remember if it was one of my cats, Kiyoshi, my little black cat that's a sweetheart, or one of the other cats, but I was petting them. You know, I don't know where I remembered an elm and I, I didn't even remember it all all day. Uh, so when I was talking about it, I was outside in the wilderness. Um, like I was in this like little crawl through cave. Not so much a cave, but like, you know, there was, we, there was like a ceiling over top. Not a ceiling ceiling, but like, you know, we were under something. Maybe it was a cave. Maybe part of a cave. Maybe the side of a mountain. I don't know. I know it was like rock, maybe rock formations over the top of us. Holy shit, now I remember the part from when I was in school as well. How am I remember this? And I haven't been able to remember on any of it all day. So anyway, I was in school, uh, getting lost. There was a lot of steep stairs in the school, though. Uh, I can't remember if I had the usual elements. Sometimes I'll be in school and I'll forget stuff. Like, um, I'd forget my locker combination or what room uh, I'm supposed to go to. Like, either room number or just, like, what room in general. Or, like, what books I don't re I'm remembering to bring or not bring. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump the mic. Whatever. It's done. Damage is done. Um, you know, stuff like that remembering who I'm supposed to report to or something, I don't know. But it wasn't too much of that, but I think I think I maybe was forgetting which room I had to report to. So I'm like kind of like walking around and up and down like steep stairs and now I'm remembering an element from years ago in a dream I had. Maybe not years ago, but a year or two ago, uh, a dream I had. I'm not even going to get into that one. I don't know how I keep just remembering shit. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to the part that was after the school segment. I'm like in this cave area and there's like a stream of water, a little waterfall, but it's like really clean, pure, uh, um, bluish, greenish, clear fucking pure water. 
and I'm like splashing around on it or something. Like not too much, like not getting benevolent, benevolent, but you know, it's just you know a little bit. And then I crawl out of that because it was like you know little waterfalls and stuff and pools of this nice clear pure water. Um, and then you know I kind of crawl out of that and then go on with the dreams to the next part where I'm actually here. Where I'm currently living with a cat, and, you know, I went to pet that one cat, and then I went to the living room, petted another cat. Um, and then, it pretty much, like, ended, I was in the bathroom. And the bathroom was, like, two or three times the size, and I was, like, either maybe smaller, or the bathroom was just bigger. Um, it was, like, a still same bathroom, everything was there. I don't, everything just seemed, like, bigger, though. More room, more spacious. And I was in there, I don't remember if I was in there with a couple cats. One cat, I, I think at least one cat was in there, though. And, uh, then, you know, I'm in there, I was with my old co-worker, and her kid was in there, and then, like, somebody else, I don't remember. I don't remember if she was older, younger, maybe kind of older, I think. Uh, not too much older than me and my co-worker were, though. Um, but we were in there... And I was in the bathtub. However, the bathtub was, like, nice and big. I wasn't, like, taking a bath or anything. But we're all in there. We're talking. Um, and I used to, like, let my kid, my co-worker's kid, you know, sit on my knee, on my on my lap or whatever. He'd play games or whatever. So, uh, you know, he was in the bathtub with me, you know, just, like, bouncing around, being a normal hype. Well, he was a little bit more hyper than... Some kids I've seen. He was he wasn't too well behaved either, but uh, you know, he had he had his moments where he was a good kid though. But anyway, you know he's being hyper, being stupid. And I tried to tell him to sit down once. He almost hurt injured himself, so I'm like, okay, you know, calm down, sit down. Uh, you know, don't hurt yourself, don't bust your head open, we don't need that type of shit. Um and then like I try to react to him bouncing around, like not really like push him away. Kind of like hold him still, not hold him, but like, you know, try to stabilize him so he's not bouncing around so much. Um, I tried to do that and then like, he like tried to wrestle out of my grip and then hit his head on, um, now I don't want to say the spout, but you know, like, not the drain, but you know, for like the water and, you know, it comes out of the water stuff or whatever. And, uh, you know, he bounced and bumped his head right off that, and, you know, he was, I don't remember if he was crying or he was just hurt, but I'm like, okay, you know, you need to calm down, and then, uh, you know, my co-worker, you know, he got out of the tub and went to my co-worker to be like, oh, mommy, I hurt myself, blah, 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 and, uh, you know, then she spanked his ass for, you know, being a hyperactive brat. And, you know, I kind of felt bad about it, like, it, it almost was my fault that he hit his head. Even though I was like, hey, don't, you know, calm down so you don't hurt yourself. And, uh, you know, and then she whooped his ass and I felt bad about it. So I hopped out of the tub and I went to, like, hug the kid, I think. Now, I don't know if it was, like, I was trying to hug him. Or, you know, make just make him calm down or make him feel better or something. You know, so he'd stop being a brat. I don't even know if I was doing that ex exactly. You know, we were all carrying conversation on with the time with the co-worker and this other person that was in there, whoever that was. And, uh, I don't know, it seemed like the other person just, like, exited the room at that point or they left. But at that point, they were gone. They were, I don't remember what point they left, whether he bumped, before he bumped his head, after he bumped his head. Um, but that person was gone. And, like I said, the bathroom was pretty big for all of us to fit in there. This bathroom really... I don't know, yeah, I could fit three people, but not like the spacious amount of space that we were taking up type thing. Um, so I, la I jumped out of the tub. I feel like we had like a blanket in the tub or something, I don't know why. But, you know, I hopped out of the tub, and I like grabbed a book and I hugged it. I thought it was, I, I don't know, for some reason I'm feeling like it was supposed to be representative of her kid, but I don't know why I'm hugging like a book, like it's precious or some shit. Either way, I'm hugging this book, and it pretty much ends with her saying, when you have a kid, teach him some responsibility. I'm not sure what that 
exactly means. And I'm surprised I can even remember that phrase. I don't remember if it was exactly verbatim, verbatim word for word, that phrase exactly. But it was something like that. It was close enough, right? Um, so I don't, I don't know what that really represents. That could be like what I was saying, an aspect of myself, like responsibility. I think I try to be responsible, you know? Um, you know, for the most part, I try. There's really, you know, so much I can do, I guess. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone as being the only one who doesn't want to take responsibility for their fuck-ups. I try to, though. Uh, yeah, it's generally when I feel bad, and I don't need to be dogged down about it more about when I fuck up, so. Um, but I don't, I don't know, that's, uh, rather strange. And then, like, I woke up and I was just, like, stupid depressed as hell for most of the day. I don't even know why. Um, maybe that had to play a role in it, and, uh, I don't, I don't even know right now. Because I'm not as depressed as I was earlier. I mean, if I'll think about it, I'll get down about whatever, like, you know, whatever's going on, situation, money, funds that I don't have anymore. Uh, it's like what I've been saying, I was going to buy myself a motherfucking PlayStation 3. That was the plan, get the internet, PlayStation 3. Now this court's finally shit taken care of. And all the funds I was going to put towards that are gone on fine. You know, because, like I've been saying, for the longest, biggest uh, thing that's felt like it's been holding back my channel is the lack of most recent current games, multiplayer games. If I can link up with at least one person who plays something multiplayer, especially another YouTuber playing multiplayer that ha can push my traffic my way, we can push traffic each other's way, whatever, we can work something awesome and get it happening. But, you know, for the whole time I felt like that's just been a big thing holding me back. Um, I'd love to do PC, but I'm not figuring that out, and I doubt I'm going to figure out anything to record any PC games, aside from Flash games. So it's been a really depressing um, type of situation as far as how much better my channel could be. I'm sure even if I could get down and play something old school... Uh, you know, any arcade game, any random older game, uh, doing co-op with, with somebody who's established would even be very effective. But it's not happening. However, I'm glad I decided to go into this room with Wesker because I needed something other than that bullshit-ass knife. Damn it, now that I got the Magnum. Finally, it took long enough to get there. That killing everything with a knife is not fucking cool at all. Uh, but let me equip the fucking Magnum shit. So, um, apparently I'm poisoned too. Uh, so, I don't know, everything has been really weird. Um, all my funds fucking ran out of unemployment and I've been using that towards my phone bill. Uh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to get a fucking job now, now that I have a fucking record. I had a fucking clean record before all that bullshit. It was just a bad time in my life, but that doesn't matter. They might as well treat me like I'm a heroin addict or a hardened criminal who is a repeat offender or... I don't know. It's, it's some bullshit and I wish I would've been on top of this YouTube stuff years ago. So hopefully by the time this video gets up, maybe I got a little bit more traffic. I don't know. We'll see how it goes by then. Either way, uh, you know, I found something I don't fucking suck at, uh, and that's this. Um, like I said, this is the last video of the batch. Uh, gonna go ahead and fix up and render up all this stuff. Uh, I have two other projects in the progress right now, uh, and that is, uh, Dungeon Siege, Throne of Agony. Nobody cares about that one. And Onimusha 2, which people may give a fuck about because it's kind of like Resident Evil in a way. Um, so, actually, it's pretty much like ran off the Resident Evil engine, pretty much. Same style, everything. Um, like camera angles, it's just like, you know, set in feudal Japan with all kinds of 
samurais and demons and monsters and all that good stuff. So, uh, it should be a lot of fun. Apparently, the boss here is somewhere around here. Oh, there she is. So, apparently, she's the boss. And we'll see how this goes. Um, but I don't know, it's been a fun trip so far. I'd like things to work out. It'd be great if they would work out. Um, shit, I was open to go ahead and get the PlayStation 3. Get moved. So I would be really excited to play the, the Resident Evil Chronicles uh, HD, uh, whatever, the, whatever they were called. Because it was on Wii, and then they re-released them on the PlayStation 3. And those look badass as fuck to play, actually. I would love to play those. I'm a big fan of the, the first-person shooters. Unfortunately, it's not a traditional gun-con-like gun game, but I'd love to play it. It looks like I already defeated the boss, so that's awesome. I'm glad I was able to grab that fucking magnum. And that was actually the pretty fucking wimpiest boss I've fought at all, in general. So, uh... Yeah, that's the end of my Resident Evil Code Veronica run. Unfortunately, it was not a full playthrough. Picked up where I left off back in the day. But it's done on to other projects. Uh, so, you know, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Check out all my shit on my channel. My crappy shit and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see ya.